Hello, I'm Dave. I have a lot of very important information to impart to you. You can tell because of the exclamation point above my head. screen you are a powerful magnificently fit hero with your inventory super organized and in real life you are bloated pale jacked up on energy drinks in a messy room surrounded by bottles of your own wee so what keeps me awake at night is where is the craft i see a lot of war but nobody doing any macrame or dare i say it haberdashery also what is this war about seeing lots of humans hating on orcs. Why? Is it all one big misunderstanding? The king has appointed you as regent over a small parcel of land. Well, it all began with problems between humans and orcs in the very first Warcraft game. They were two different races that clearly just didn't get along. The kingdom of Azeroth was a prosperous one. The humans who dwelt there turned the land into a paradise. Then came the orcish hordes. Though it didn't help that the orcs were corrupted by the Burning Legion, who were annoyed at something that happened 10,000 years ago to become the bloodthirsty horde hell-bent on the annihilation of humans. Lead your people to their destinies. We don't know much about the Burning Legion. All we know is they hold massive grudges. They were Azeroth original gangster, and they are bad to have anywhere near a thatched roof. However, they are handy to have around if you need to cook a crumpet. His blood is mine. As is your whole misbegotten race. When it comes down to it, you could consider this simply a war about land rights. One set of beings believe they are more rightfully deserving of Azeroth than all the others, and this just splinters down into smaller factions and smaller parcels of land. Of course, a lot of real-life war boils down to something similar. However, you must admit it's a lot more fun with mana potions and fetch quests. Speaking of which, did you manage to bring me those 10 turtle shells? I will level you up as soon as you've finished weeing in that bottle. <laughs>